Praise the Lord. This is Psalm for the day, coming to you from the central parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Abuja. Shall we pray? Our Lord and our God, thank you for the word. Thank you for the power in the word. Thank you for the grace to rejoice at your presence. Thank you for the knowledge of the truth. Thank you for revelation. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. We appreciate you that, Lord, even today, as we hear from your throne, Lord, we shall be blessed, and your name shall be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The psalm for today is Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. Psalm 121, verses 1 and 2, and I read, I lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and the earth. The question was, where does your help come? Is it from the herbalist? Is it from friends? Are you so knowledgeable? Do you think you are so wise in your own conceit that, oh, when you need help, you don't need anybody like some people will say i am a self-made man what can anybody do for me they are so rich and they think money can do everything but there are certain things that money cannot do somebody said money can buy drugs but it cannot buy health the story was said sometime of a very rich man in this country his wife was sick having uh, one of the cancerous diseases and was taken abroad and the man said all over the world, go and look for the best oncologists. That is the doctors that treat cancer cells, cancer diseases, neoplastic diseases. They went round. He said, I will pay them anything. Money was there to hire the best doctors. Money was there to get the best equipment. Money was there to even go ahead, package all these together, put in the drugs, do everything. But yet, the woman died. We are not using this to mock this man. We are only say, saying that, look, no matter how rich one is, the Lord is the one who knows the end from the beginning. He is the one who can do and undo. And any time we need help, let him be our number one. David here was saying, he lifted up his eyes onto the hills. From where will this help come? He looked up. How will I get help? But look at the second verse there. He said, my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth Meaning that this God is the one, he said, with him, all things consist. Heaven and earth were made by him, filled by him. So what is your need that he cannot handle? I pray that the Lord will grant us the wisdom to always look unto God, the author and finisher of our faith. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these, all our needs will be added. Like I always tell people, when you put God first, God will put your issues first. And I give an example of the Hebrew children. You know, when you have God, my people will say you have everything. In distressed situations, in difficult times, you can be rest assured that look, he will take care. Whatever solution he gives to you is the best for you at that material time. Sometimes you will pray to him, the answer may not come right when you want it, but he will do it at the most appropriate time because he does not delay. With God, there is no delay. Since with man, it is when time matters, but with God, a thousand years it's like a day, and a day is like a thousand years. So, 
Bible also tells us he makes all things beautiful in his own time. A child living in a place where vehicles are riding to and fro every time and is crying to God, he is gone to the village or gone to one city where his cousins are living in an enclosed area, an area where children can ride bicycles freely and came to daddy, daddy, I want bicycle. Daddy said, no, not yet. I cannot buy you bicycle here because he knows when this child starts to ride bicycle along these streets, he may be knocked down. And people can be careless, they will do it and walk away. Ultimately, it will be his problem as a father. So he says, hold it, my son. Because in his mind, he was thinking of moving out of that place. But the child does not know that they are planning to move to another place. The moment they now move to that new place, suddenly he saw daddy coming in, calls him. Oh, Joseph, uh, uh, Patrick, go on, go on, open the boot. He opened. He said, oh, daddy. Can you imagine? That is the right time. The time that is most beautiful, the time that is most appropriate. So God is always there. He is our very present help. In trouble, your problem is not too big for him to solve. And you must come to him, trusting in him. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, the Bible says, Come, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's our body bearer. Any type of problem you have, come to him. Come unto him. Look unto him, the author and finisher of your faith. I pray that as you look up to the Most High God this year, he will meet you at all points of your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is nothing too difficult for him to handle. I always tell people, uh, the children of Israel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were there. The king said, oh, bow to our God. They said, oh, king, as for this matter, we have no discussion to do with you. Our God whom we serve is able to deliver us. Even if he chooses not to, we will not serve this your God. Because they are just too resolute and content with whatever decisions the Lord decides to take concerning them. Look, at the last minute, he knows what to do. He, we were made for him. Uh, one of the old patriarchs, I think St. Augustine, says, man cannot have rest until they rest in the Lord. That is the truth. The one that is sure of the God he serves, putting all his trust upon him, Knowing that this Lord is always having the best of wishes, the best of thoughts. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Jeremiah 29, 11. The thoughts of good, the thought of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. If you believe that word, that statement, that truth of the word of God, you will not even be afraid to trust this Lord in every situation. Oh, look for him to help you. And I pray for you that this year, as you put your trust in the Lord, he will be there for you, right on time for you, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Let us pray. Our God and our, God, our Father, our dependable ally, you are faithful, you are unfailing, you are trustworthy. You are not man to lie. You are not man to lie. Neither are you the son of man to deny yourself. All you have said we know you can do. You will also do. And we pray, Father, this year, you will make it to be better than the last for us. In the name of Jesus, in the difficult situations where we found ourselves helpless, this year, Father, we pray that you will come true for us. In the name of Jesus.